In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly update your drivers on Intel Arc. First, you're going to download a program called DDU or Display Driver Uninstaller. And I download the one from Guru3D. Press the green download button here. And I'm going to save it somewhere you can find it. I'll put it on my desktop here. Wait for it to download. Now you're going to extract the folder and you're going to open the folder and open the exe which is going to extract the necessary files. Open this folder. Now you can open this by driver under store. So when you open DDU it will show you the options screen. You are going to check prevent downloads of drivers from Windows Update because this can screw up your uh, driver install. Now you're going to close out of DDU again. Now we're going to look for uh, msconfig in the Windows search bar, which we need to uh, enable safe mode. There's also other ways to do, but this is a pretty easy one. Now you're going to go to uh, the second tab. You're going to check safe boot here. Then you're going to hit apply and it's going to prompt you to restart now or restart later. You're just going to restart now. So once you're into safe mode, go into MS config again and uncheck the safe boot option. Now hit exit without restart. Now go open the folder where you have a DDU installed. Now go to select device type and then you can select GPU and make sure it's on Intel. And then you're going to hit clean and restart. Now it's going to uninstall the driver, which might take a while, but it will restart automatically once it's done. So when the PC is done restarting, you're going to download the latest ARC drivers. And just search for ARC GPU drivers. Go to the first link and also put it in the description. You can have the latest official certified drivers, beta drivers and pro drivers. I'll go, uh, I'm going to download beta drivers because it's the latest version with the most optimizations. Just save it somewhere you can find it. Now you're going to open the downloaded driver. It's going to extract the driver files. This will take like 30 seconds or so. Now it's going to open the driver installer. You're going to hit begin installation. I agree. I agree again. And then start. Now it's going to install the drivers for you. Just be aware that it might flicker black uh, a few times, which is completely normal. Just uh, wait until it's done installing. Might take a minute or so. So when it's done installing the driver, it's highly recommended or even required to reboot your system. And once that's done, you should have updated your driver successfully.